Imagine, for a moment, you're an architect, but instead of designing buildings, you're constructing the very fabric of the universe. That's the day job for physicists like me, trying to understand the blueprint of everything we see and everything we don't. I'm diving into a realm where the rules of the game, the quantum rules, are being questioned. Yes, I'm talking about the grand stage of quantum mechanics and gravity, a puzzle that has baffled minds for decades. Traditionally, we've tried to stitch these together using theories like string theory or loop quantum gravity. These theories paint a picture of a world stitched together by tiny, vibrating strings or a mesh of loops. They suggest that our smooth, classical world is just the tip of an iceberg made out of quantum ice. But here's where it gets even more interesting. What if gravity, the force that keeps our feet on the ground and planets in orbit, isn't quantum at all? What if it's fundamentally classical? This is not just a wild guess, but a serious proposition by some of us at University College London, a perspective that might just turn the whole theory on its head. You see, gravity emerges from the fabric of space-time itself, not as a player within it. If gravity were quantized, space-time would need to be quantized too. But there's a catch. Quantum theory itself relies on a backdrop, a stage of classical space-time. So, what does this mean? It means we might be looking at a universe where gravity and quantum mechanics coexist without merging, a hybrid theory that could unify them without blending them. It's like having oil and water in the same glass, but not mixing them up. This radical idea could redefine our understanding of the universe and push the boundaries of what we consider possible. The implications are profound not just for physics, but for our understanding of reality itself. So next time you look up at the stars, remember, the universe is not just vast, it's also deeply mysterious, and we've only just begun to uncover its secrets. Are there any experimental tests for these ideas? Absolutely. There are experimental tests being conducted to explore the ideas surrounding quantum gravity. Let's delve into some recent developments. One fascinating experiment is the gravity-mediated entanglement. The principles behind gravity-mediated entanglement were experimentally demonstrated using photons. This simulation provides new insights into the nature of gravity and is a significant step in testing theories like string theory and loop quantum gravity. Another major development is the unifying quantum mechanics and gravity experiment. An international team of researchers published a study in Advanced Photonics Nexus, demonstrating a crucial goal in preparation for future experiments aimed at unifying quantum mechanics and general relativity. Additionally, researchers have used photonic quantum simulation to mimic the gravitational field's effect on quantum particles. In these experiments, some properties of the photons become entangled, showcasing non-locality, a quintessential quantum phenomenon. This experiment is a core principle of future experiments using massive particles aiming to probe the quantumness of gravity. But how does this emerging theory challenge other well-established theories? Jonathan Oppenheim's theory challenges the conventional quantum gravity theories in several key ways. Firstly, there is the idea of classical versus quantum spacetime. Oppenheim's theory suggests that space-time may be fundamentally classical, not governed by quantum mechanics at all. This is in stark contrast to string theory and loop quantum gravity, which posit that space-time emerges from quantum building blocks. Secondly, Oppenheim proposes modifying quantum theory itself. Instead of quantizing gravity, his post-quantum theory of classical gravity predicts an intrinsic breakdown in predictability mediated by space-time. Lastly, the theory anticipates random and violent fluctuations in space-time that are larger than those envisaged under quantum theory, making the apparent weight of objects unpredictable, if measured precisely enough. Experimental tests are key to validating or refuting these groundbreaking ideas. For instance, measuring a mass very precisely to see if its weight appears to fluctuate over time would challenge the quantum nature of space-time and provide support for Oppenheim's theory. As we continue to push the boundaries of our understanding, these experiments and theories bring us one step closer to unravelling the mysteries of the universe. In the quest to understand the fabric of our universe, different theories offer unique perspectives on the nature of space-time and gravity. 
Let's explore how string theory and loop quantum gravity contrast with Jonathan Oppenheim's novel approach. String theory posits that everything in the universe, including space-time, is made up of tiny, vibrating strings. These strings can be either closed loops or open segments, and their vibrations give rise to all particles and forces we observe. String theory requires a higher dimensional space-time, typically involving ten dimensions, to account for these vibrations. Additionally, it often incorporates supersymmetry, a theoretical framework where each particle has a corresponding superpartner. Loop quantum gravity, LQG, on the other hand, focuses on the quantum properties of space-time itself, rather than the matter within it. It replaces the smooth, continuous space-time of Einstein's general relativity with a network of interlocked loops. These loops assign quantum properties to nodes and links, resulting in a discrete space-time constructed from these chunks. LQG operates within the usual 3 plus 1 space-time dimensions and does not necessitate supersymmetry. Contrastingly, Jonathan Oppenheim's approach challenges the need to quantize gravity. He suggests that gravity could be fundamentally classical and that space-time may not need to adhere to quantum rules. Oppenheim's theory proposes modifying quantum theory itself to accommodate a classical theory of gravity. This approach diverges significantly from both string theory and loop quantum gravity, as it does not rely on the quantization of space-time or the existence of higher dimensions or supersymmetry. The differences between these theories highlight the diverse avenues scientists are exploring to unravel the mysteries of our universe. While string theory and loop quantum gravity seek to integrate gravity into the quantum realm, Oppenheim's approach opens the door to the possibility that gravity might remain a classical phenomenon.